don't destroy Tobago for a carnival. This was the admonition given by Minority Leader Kelvin Morris on Thursday, as he commented on the stage construction being undertaken by the Tobago House of Assembly at the Scarborough Seafront. The carnival will come and go, but whatever we do here, we will have to live with. And is a carnival worth the destruction of Tobago? Yes, we must do what we have to do to have a good carnival. But if we don't have the stage out in the sea, would that stop the carnival? If we don't put down a road somewhere down Pigeon Point or Dutch Fort, would that stop the carnival? And I think the, a reason answer is no. Speaking at a minority council, Minority Council press conference, rather, Mr. Morris recalled being part of coastal projects and studies while a member of the ETEC board. He noted environmental damage to other areas can be caused when the natural coast flow is affected. The minority leader described the actions of the Secretary for Infrastructure, Quarries and Urban Development, Trevor James, as disrespectful. Now seeing uh, a secretary so arrogant so bold face, so disrespectful that even in the face of the lawful authority mm -hmm. saying to you, at least there's a process. Let us go through the process. Let us give you the clearance. And you are saying, no, I don't care. We have a carnival to, 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 to treat with. And by hook or crook, we put it down with stage. Earlier this week, Secretary James informed no EMA clearance was granted for the stage construction. While the EMA via release announced investigations are taking place into the projects in Tobago.